Hello, today we're going to do a review of two of the uh, Thule cases, for one for the iPhone 6 and the other for the iPhone 6 Plus. These are available online on the Thule website, or Best Buy is now carrying these. Um, they're a little bit on the pricey side at $40 a piece, but um, they are unique in that they're kind of on the thinner side and they don't have the hole in the back, which a lot of the cases that are available have. So. First, let's start off with the iPhone 6. So this one is the pink version, and it comes in this flip open case, so you can try it out in the store, and then you pull it out. And uh, this is what the inside looks like, has the pink band around the front. There's the power button. There's a little bit of a recess on each side with a dot there. And then the cutouts for headphone, lightning port, and speaker. Cutout for the sleep-wake switch. Volume up, volume down. Nothing on the top. And then the back is has this striped pattern. The cutout for the camera is black so that you don't get reflection from the flash and the two center, the, the two color pieces here sit up a little bit higher than the white part. Another thing to note is that it's a little bit of a outward bulge right here in the design. Okay, so let's uh, have an iPhone 6 here. Let's put the iPhone 6 in to the case and the way that you do that is you just start with one corner push one corner in and then you just push on each of the four corners. Kind of a tight fit there, but you can see what it looks like when it's in there. It doesn't really come over the top of, over the face of the iPhone much. It's right up against the edge there. See the cutouts, they fit very close, very tight. Of course it works well with all of the accessories that you get from Apple, but uh, we'll talk a little bit in a minute about the, how close the cutouts are for fitting some third-party headphones and lightning cables. And the power. The uh, sleep-wake switch is pretty easy to manipulate. There's a good amount of room there. The buttons are a little bit on the stiffer side, but they still work pretty well and have good tactile feedback, and it does keep a nice slim profile on the iPhone. So one of the other things I mentioned that I wanted to talk about was the closeness of the cutouts here. So obviously if you're using the Apple headphones or the Apple lightning cable it'll work just fine, but I do have here one of um, Amazon's lightning cables. This is Amazon Basics and they make a lightning cable and as you can see it's got a lot of plastic around the edge and this one will not fit into with this case on it will not it won't push in because there's not enough space there so it's something to keep in mind that if you're going to use an aftermarket lightning cable with this case you need to make sure that it is has a fairly thin plastic around the edge otherwise it won't plug in um, and then as far as headphones go, to give you an example of uh, aftermarket headphones, I do have a set here of uh, Bose Quiet Comforts. And the Bose headphones, uh, the Bose headphone jack is pretty thin. It's a little bit thicker than the Apple one, but not by much. And this one does plug in just fine. That, that does fit in there okay. It's tight, but it does go in and it does work okay. But if you have a headphones that have a a board, a, a plastic around the edge that's any thicker, not much thicker than the Apple ones, you're going to have a problem there as well. So keep that in mind. It's a fairly close fit. Okay, so that's the regular iPhone 6. Now let's take a look at the one for the iPhone 6 Plus. This is the black and white version. They also make it in blue and white, and they make it in all black. 
This is the black and white version. And it's exactly the same as the one for the iPhone 6, um, except that it's just a little bit bigger. Um, Design-wise, it's exactly the same. No, no differences. Cutout ports for the cutouts are still pretty tight, pretty close. And that's what the inside looks like. Fairly thin. And again, these, these black sections are slightly raised above the white. We'll go ahead and put the iPhone 6 in. Same thing. Start in one corner. And then just push on the other corners. And it just snaps in. That's what it looks like. Cut out for the camera is very nice. It's got a black ring around there so you don't get any um, flash leak issues and uh, it's fairly low profile. You do see a little bit of the color of the iPhone popping through there. And again the sleep wake button is fairly easy to get to and you can see the cutouts for the ports. Again if I try to use the Amazon aftermarket headphone it won't fit in there. That will not plug in all the way. Uh, but again, for the for the headphone for the Bose headphones, this plugs in just fine. Goes in all the way, flush. No issues there. But I w don't think you're going to get um, much more than that. That'll be about the limit that you could get into there to fit flush. You can see that the it does, it does sit a little bit above the case, so it, you had the headphones that needed to go in flush and had a much more of a ring around it than these bows do. It probably wouldn't work. Overall, it's a very nice case. It provides a good amount of drop protection. Um, it protects the phone all the way around the sides, all the way around the back. The cutout, cut, cutouts are fairly close. There's a little bit of a ridge. So you can set the phone face down and not have to worry that it's going to sit on the screen. And it does have the Thule logo there. It's in silver, kind of a glossy silver. It says Thule Sweden right there. Looks classy. And you just have these big black panels. And it's kind of a mixed mode. These are a little bit softer than the white section, but very similar in feel. This is a little bit of a slicker feel to it and this has a little bit of a matte finish to it to hang on to so that it doesn't slip out of your hands. Okay, so there you go. That's the uh, Thule case for the iPhone 6 Plus and for the iPhone 6, two different colors. We have the pink, we have the black. They also make a blue and they make one that is all black. So depending on the color you prefer, they're available at Best Buy. Uh, the lo my local Best Buy here in Colorado had them in stock, and you can also, of course, order them on various different websites, and you can go to Thule's website to check it out more. Thank you.